Look, I don't mean to interrupt whatever you got going on this beautiful Saturday afternoon, but I actually do mean to interrupt whatever you got going on this beautiful Saturday afternoon to let you know this, that Lamar Jackson is back. This is beautiful, wonderful, stupendous, outstanding, amazing news for the Baltimore Ravens, and I had to let you know you had to hear it. Because when Lamar Jackson is not in a building, yeah, and I feel bad for the people who went to training camp. I know they still enjoy themselves, but they would have enjoyed themselves on the days that they went to training camp and Lamar wasn't there. They would have enjoyed themselves a lot more had he been there because... Watch just this video alone from him coming out the tunnel. Shout out to Carita C. Parks for this video. Watch this. And then it's like with his vibe, like he could literally do whatever and the crowd is going to go crazy. Watch this clip from Jameson Hensley on Lamar just catching a pass and listen to the crowd react. So with Lamar Jackson, you see how special he is to us as Baltimore Ravens fans. You see how special he is to this football team. We know how special he is to this football team. Everything goes through Lamar Jackson. So a healthy Lamar Jackson, having him around, uh, it obviously just makes everybody's day better. It just brings up the energy 20 million times, but it makes the football team so much better as well. We glad that whatever he was dealing with, because according to Ian Rapper, Report. Lamar Jackson was dealing with some flu-like symptoms. He said it could have been the flu, maybe, maybe not, but he was dealing with flu-like symptoms. But the positive, well, yesterday, obviously a super positive now because he's back at practice, but Ian Rappaport reported yesterday that Lamar Jackson, when the Ravens medical staff was running tests on him, everything was coming back negative. So that's always a good sign uh, when you're sick and, and the stuff is coming back negative. So he let us know yesterday that, hey, Lamar Jackson, he should be back with the Ravens really soon. I didn't know it was going to be within the next 24 hours, but we also, of course, are not complaining one bit at all. Now, with Lamar Jackson being back, which it is a beautiful thing. Oh, and by the way, y'all, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on and leave a like on the video because we not only like this news, but we love it. We love it that our guy is back in the building. But anyway, um, with Lamar Jackson being back, Training camp is, of course, that's the time when everything is getting ramped up. The chemistry is really being built. The rapport is really being built with different teammates. Now, um, with Lamar, obviously the biggest thing this offseason, how is Lamar Jackson and Rashad Bateman's chemistry going to be? This is the first offseason where both of them will be like fully healthy at training camp. I believe because rookie year uh, Rashad Bateman started off healthy. Then he got uh, like a groin injury. So that took him at his rookie year. And then what was the following year? I forget. But last year he was like in and out. And I think the year before that he might have been in and out too, dealing with an injury. But this year they're there and, and the situation is different too. Their the, the, the circumstances Obviously Lamar's circumstance is not different Because he was the starting quarterback Before Rashad Bateman got here But with Rashad Bateman His circumstance is a lot different Because now officially There's really not anybody in front of him And I say nobody in front of him As far as wide receivers Because him and Zay They gonna be running with the ones So Rashad Bateman Not gonna be running with no second Third unit or whatnot. He's going to be a starter. So he his the opportunities that he'll have to really build up that chemistry with Lamar Jackson. It's now. And think about this. I didn't even realize this. I didn't even realize it. That we are in training camp. Next week, well, actually, yeah, well, yeah, next week technically is gonna be August 1st. I think the Baltimore Ravens, their first preseason game i think it's like august 9th there's something crazy like that to where it's literally right around the corner and i say all that to say this with their first preseason game being right there is right around the corner that means the regular season is soon to follow so with us already getting ready to be in august like 
July, these months have been just flying by. But with us already getting ready to be in August, that means September is right there. The regular season is right there. So we are going to see exactly how much chemistry these guys got very, very soon. And that's why every single day is important. That's why when Lamar Jackson was missing those days in training camp, obviously you want him to get better, want him to be fully healthy, want him to be good to go. But those days, those are crucial days. And I'm sure they'll make up for it. They'll go two, three, four, five times as hard in practice as they would have uh, had he been there. But now they just, they got to do some makeup. They got to do some making up. And I'm sure they'll get all of that done and more. But now is the time. Now is the time when it's like, all right, hey, let's get, oh, Rashad, baby, this is what you normally do when I do, okay. And then Rashad will be, oh, Lamar, this is what you normally do, oh, okay. They can really start to get a feel for each other, get a feel for what each other do, what they do in different scenarios and different circumstances and whatnot, and just really get that thing going. So this, I'm so glad that Lamar Jackson back. But I know Rashad Bateman is even happier that he is too. So you see, this is why we say reps matter. And again, like Ed Reed said, you can't teach reps. It's something that you just got to do over and over. Get that muscle memory. Uh, Jonah Schaefer, uh, who's been covering the Ravens for a while, he said that Lamar Jackson, he had some ups and downs in his return to action as expected. And yeah, that is expected. He been... In and out the lineup, more out than in the lineup, but he's back now. So we would expect him to be a little rusty, but how rusty was he today? Well, Jonah said that he hit Tylen Wallace for a 50-yard touchdown catch and run off of play action. Ooh, that, oh. all right now, Tylen. Hey, we see you. We see you, my friend. Uh, he said, hey, look, I ain't just no return, man. I'm a receiver, too. You saw what I did in college. Anyway. Uh, but he said Lamar also threw two interceptions, both, <laughs> by that number 44, Marlon Humphrey. Uh, it says, on apparent miscommunications with receivers. See, this is what we're talking about. This is what training camp is for, though. And again, like we said, a lot of times interceptions, they will get blown up a lot. Whether we blowing up like, oh, man, that quarterback threw two interceptions. Oh, man, he's terrible. That's so bad. Da, 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 da. Or we could blow him up. Oh, that cornerback, he caught two interceptions. Oh, that boy's locked down. He ain't going to give up nothing this year. But it's all part of camp. It's all part of competition. It's all about getting better. And like we said before, it's important that these quarterbacks, they push themselves. It's important that the, the coaching staff, they really push these guys. Push them heavy so they can try all this stuff out and they can really maximize their tax because that's so important in my opinion when it comes to players whether don't even matter what position it is whether quarterback receiver cornerback linebacker defensive line, offense, whatever push these guys to the max so they can see what they can do obviously improve on stuff that they could improve on but whatever it is that they do great push max that out too Max out everything so they can continue to get even better because you don't want somebody who is just a potential guy. You don't you don't want people that say, oh, well, he got potential, but we ain't seen it yet. Then another year goes by. Oh, yeah, he got potential. We still ain't seen it. No. If you're, in a, if you're in a position to where you can really try to bring the best out of somebody and really push them, Go for it. So today was a special day for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, they were honoring Jacoby Jones. They had the 12 bandanas uh, that they were wearing today uh, at practice for Jacoby Jones because his funeral was today. Um, they did say that um, Justin Tucker was there and there were a few other people that were there uh, as well. But one of those people was actually an old Baltimore Ravens, somebody who uh, will always have love for, and the Baltimore Ravens will always have love for them, that being uh, Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco, who is a member of the Indianapolis Colts right now, I believe. They said that Joe Flacco, he wasn't at practice today, so he could go attend Jacoby Jones' funeral. And that's that's real right there. That that, that that's, that's real right there. Um, just stepping away from work uh, to go show respect. So shout out to Jacoby Jones, shout out to Joe Flacco again. I know JT was there as well, Justin Tucker. Um, so it, it's nice, man. Nice that the Ravens they were still honoring Jacoby Jones. Um, and again, just remember, I, I saw Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram posted a video of him and Jacoby Jones on the sideline where they were they were doing the dance and whatnot. So it's like every time you see him, every time you see a video 
of Jacoby Jones. I feel like 90% of them was Jacoby Jones dancing, but the other 10% of the videos were him in some way, shape, form having a good time. Whether he was joking around with somebody, whether he was making fun of somebody, whether he was dancing, whether he was doing something just goofy, something funny, uh, something with a lot of energy. Jacoby Jones, he just brought a, a vibe to everybody. Like one of my guys, um, he had just messaged me uh, a couple days ago and he said that with Jacoby Jones, he used to always go to, I believe he said it was his sister's job. I'm trying to find a message real quick. Um, but he said that with Jacoby Jones, he he would see him a lot. His sister uh, would see him a lot. I, I can't find it right now, but I, I just thought it was super cool because it just gave me a nice reminder of what, like I said this before, everything that I heard about Jacoby Jones it's all been positive stuff. It's all been positive stuff. And it's all been stuff where people just, they, they gave you positive stories. They uh, said how great of a person he was. Um, so yeah, I, I, I just appreciate that a lot. So shout out to any of y'all again, um, who have ever met or encountered Jacoby Jones. Cause it seemed like you met somebody who was a real cool person. So we talked about some of the people that were there at practice today, but what about some that weren't? Well, this was from Jeff Srebik. He said, Ravens, I don't see on a practice field. Wide receivers, Zay flowers. I, I know some people were saying Zay flowers was in New York. I don't know if that's true or not, but he was not there at practice today for whatever reason. I'm sure he's fine. Uh, kicker Justin Tucker, he is at Jacoby Jones Funeral Services. Uh, outside linebacker Joe Evans, I remember when we covered him, when we watched film on him, and I like what I saw. He looked like he was a hard hitter, wasn't the fastest, but I wondered, like, when I watched him, like, how did he not get drafted? Especially because he produced, too. He put up some numbers throughout his collegiate career, um, but I know some people said that he was a little small. Some people say he was a little bit slow. I was, I, then I saw somebody Oh, Anyway, I'm going to get into that Anyway, Joe Evans wasn't there And then also inside linebacker uh, Yandy Rigby And then Kyle Vinoy, uh still out with his uh, sore neck And uh, with Kyle Vinoy, I think the expectation was always that he was going to be out for a couple of days Once they said that he had a sore neck um, But it's again, still nothing to trip about at all I got to give a special shout out to my guy King Corny It hit me up uh, a while ago, like maybe like over a year ago And he said that he had been taking a test to get uh get a license um and i think the, the test didn't go so well at first but he gave us an update now, i just wanted to share this with team keep it clean because this was special he said uh, remember when i said i was studying for my real estate license i finally got it so much hard work has finally paid off the first time i took it i missed it by three points and this time i aced it just wanted to let you know so i i, I had to give him a, a shout out too man because that's special especially it can be easy when you uh, you miss out on something, just by that much, it can be like, oh, it could be draining. It could be just tough on you mentally. And you could be like, you know, man, forget this. I ain't, I ain't doing this no more. But the fact that you came through, you ran it back, and you end up acing your test, congrats to you. I just wanted the whole team keep it clean and no special shout out to you, my guy.